A very good evening and welcome to the 7 o'clock news from Bahrain International with me, Danielle Deporto. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Khalifa ratified and issued three laws for the year 2017 following their approval by the Shura and Representatives Councils. Law 23 stipulates the approval of Bahrain's joining of the International Convention on Civil Li Liability for Bunker Oil Pollution Damage 2001. Law 24 stipulates the ratification of a protocol between the Bahraini and Turkish governments on amending and completing several provisions in their agreement on air services signed on October 26, 1998. And Law 25 stipulates the approval of Bahrain's joining the Convention on Limitation of Liability for Maritime Claims in 1976 and the General Protocol of 1996 amending it. His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa received at Sakir Palace today the credentials of the newly appointed ambassadors of Indonesia, Jordan and Austria. The ambassador of the Republic of Indonesia, Nur Syahrir Raharjo, arrived at Al Sakir Palace where he was welcomed by the head of royal protocol and an official ceremony was held for him. The ambassador then presented his credentials to His Majesty the King and welcoming speeches were exchanged between His Majesty the King and the ambassador. Ambassador of the Hashemite Kingdom of Jordan, Rami Salah al Rekrat al al Edwan, arrived at Al Sakir Palace where he was welcomed by the head of royal protocol and an official ceremony was held for him. The newly appointed ambassador then presented his credentials to His Majesty the King as the, as the ambassador of Jordan and welcoming speeches were exchanged between His Majesty the King and the ambassador. The ambassador of Austria, Dr. Sigur Pacher, arrived at Al Sakir Palace where he was welcomed by the head of royal protocol and an official ceremony was held for him. The ambassador then presented his credentials to His Majesty the King and welcoming speeches were exchanged between His Majesty the King and the ambassador. His Majesty exchanged with the new ambassador's welcoming speeches on the occasion, hailing the relations between Bahrain and their brotherly and friendly countries and their progress in all fields, wishing the ambassador success in their diplomatic duties of enhancing cooperation with the kingdom. The ambassadors conveyed the greetings of their country's leaders and their wishes of abundant health and happiness to His Majesty and of further progress and prosperity to the Kingdom, commending the ties between their countries and Bahrain. Also present were the personal representative of His Majesty the King, the Minister of the Royal Court, the Foreign Affairs Minister and the Royal Protocol's Chief. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister met today with several royal family members and senior officials to discuss various public interest issues. His Royal Highness emphasized that the Kingdom of Bahrain, under the leadership of His Majesty the King, features a prevalent spirit of optimism and confidence that the future will always be bright and flourishing, affirming that the construction and development process will continue to fulfill present and future requirements. He said Bahrain is witnessing upwards growth and development at all levels through the implementation of a series of developmental and modernization projects all across the Kingdom's cities and villages praising the Bahraini people's generosity, loyalty and perpetual alignment with their country's leadership. He added that work on these projects is proceeding at exponential speed, with his keen personal follow-up on progress, standards and their ability to attract investment into the kingdom. The Prime Minister affirmed that the strength of Bahraini society is in its national unity and cohesive social fabric, and that challenges will only increase resolve to fulfil aspirations for the nation and its people's prosperity. He praised the giving of Bahraini people in all positions and expressed, keen, expressed their keenness and diligence towards positive contributions for safeguarding the nation's security and stability and effective participation in the development process, loyally and resolutely, which reflects the genuine nature which perpetually characterises the Bahraini people. The audience expressed sincere gratitude and appreciation to the Prime Minister for all of his continual efforts towards the nation's progress and prosperity, hailing his contributions and public stances in the interest of, na of the nation and its citizens as a source of pride for all citizens. They wished him good health and well-being to continue the process of building for Bahrain and the welfare of its citizens under the wise leadership of His Majesty the King.
under the directives of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman al Khalifa, regarding the delegation of a number of ministers representing various sectors to conduct field visits to Amal Hassan, Al Daraz village, and other villages in Bidaya to check on the needs of citizens and follow up with projects. The Minister of Education, Dr. Majid bin Ali Naimi, visited a number of educational institutions in Karana, Barbar, Al Daraz, and Bidaya. During the visit, the Minister of Education explained the Ministry's work plan in the Northern Governorate, highlighting that these visits are part of the Ministry's communication with the municipality to view educational services provided in the Governorate. He added that new schools will be opened, in addition to maintenance work and renovation being carried out in a number of others to upgrade infrastructure and increase intake capacity. The delegation also visited the Summer Club at Karana Primary Girls School and saw the educational and entertainment activities offered. First Deputy Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, President of Bahrain Athletics Association and Honorary President of Bahrain Sports Federation for Disabilities, His Highness Sheikh Khaled bin Hamad Al Khalifa, deputized Minister of Youth and Sports and President of the Higher Organizing Committee, Hisham Al Jawadar, to open the competition of Khaled bin Hamad Futsal League for youth centers and the disabled as well as for girls. More in this report with Yasmin Ibrahim. The fifth edition of the Khalid bin Hamad League for Youth Centers, People with Disabilities and Girls, kicked off with four matches at the Khalifa Sports City Hall under the theme Generations Meeting. I think uh, this has uh, a lot of uh, importance for all the youth in and around Bahrain. Uh, we can see that 900 uh, football players who are now enjoying during this time of year uh, playing against each other, enjoying the time to know each other as well as trying to become the best in Bahrain. Uh, this, what it does, it teaches them a lot. It teaches them how to strategize to become, to reach the goal. It teaches them how to think about how to reach the final, uh, the finish line actually, to, to, to win uh, the gold medal. And uh, a lot of different, uh, um, uh, you know, uh, items to be learned in uh, such an initiative uh, that they can carry in the professional career, whether they want to become sportsmen or they want to become uh, professionals in whatever it is. The participating teams were a total of 720 players, which included a wide participation of 36 youth centers, in addition to eight teams representing the Disabled People League and six teams participating in the women's contest. Designer Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad uh, League you know, one of the now biggest uh, championship maybe in the country. And we have now, uh, we are talking about 59 uh, teams are participating in this. Uh, well, I think uh, the challenge uh, is going on. And we notice this from even uh, the practice uh, uh, from for the teams. And maybe now we are on the first day, we have seen the opening game. It was a very tough game. And even the result between Mahara and Safra, is, it shows that. I think maybe in the coming days also we'll see more and more. The month-long tournament aims to strengthen national unity and allow Bahraini youth the opportunity to meet and exchange expertise, in addition to enhance the skills and talents of the kingdom's youth. The tournament reflects the kingdom's efforts in empowering the youth, highlighting their skills, which reflects positively on local football talent. Reporting for Bahrain International, I'm Bahrain, Bahrain, Saudi Arabia, the United Arab Emirates and Egypt have announced the designation of nine entities and nine individuals to the lists of terrorist groups. The measure is within their firm and solid commitment to fighting terrorism, cutting off sources of funding, prosecuting those who are involved in it, and combating extremist ideologies and hate, hate speech incubators. The entities are Al Balah Charitable Foundation, Yemen, Al Ihsan Charitable Society, Yemen, Rahma Charitable Organization, Yemen, Benghazi Revolutionaries Shura Council, Libya, Al Saraya Media Center, Libya, Bashra News Agency, Libya. Rafala Sahati Brigade, Libya, Naba TV, Libya, and Tanasu Foundation for Dawa, Culture and Media, Libya. The individuals are Khaled Saeed Al Boynein, Qatari citizen, Shahar Juma Al Shahwani, Qatari citizen, Saleh bin Ahmed Al Ghanim, Qatari citizen, Hamid 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 Al Ali, Kuwaiti citizen, Abdullah Mohammed Al Yazidi, Yemeni citizen, Ahmed Ali Ahmed Baroud, Yemeni citizen, Mohammed Bakr al Daba, Yemeni citizen, Al Saada Abdullah Ibrahim Bukhazim, Libyan citizen, and Ahmed Abed al Jalil al Hassanawi, Libyan citizen. The terrorist activities of the aforementioned entities and individuals have direct and indirect ties with the Qatari authorities. 
noting that the Qatari authorities have recently signed a memorandum of understanding with the United States to stop terror financing, and then announced they were amending terror combating laws, the four states considered this step insufficient, even though it is a submission to the tough demands to combat terrorism, and one of many awaited steps to achieve the Qatari authorities' return to the right track. The next awaited practical step is Qatari authorities taking urgent legal action to prosecute terrorist and extremist individuals and entities. To that end, the four states, along with their international partners, will monitor the Qatari authorities' commitment to not harboring terrorists or supporting or financing terrorism or extremists inside and outside Qatar and any promotion of extremist and hate speech. The four countries also affirm the continuation of their current measures, while possible future measures may be taken until the Qatari authorities are committed to fulfilling all demands that ensure counter countering terrorism and maintaining security and stability in the region. A very good evening. You're watching the Business News in Bahrain International with me, Hiba Abdul Ghaffar. Bahrain Ocean Index closed today at 1,334.67 points, marking an increase of 7.18 points above the previous closing. The increase was due to a rise in the commercial bank sector, in which investors mainly traded, representing 43% of the total value of traded shares. 48 equity transactions took place with a volume of 1,588,872 with 390,216 Bahraini dinars.